Welcome back, Beyond Crazy Family. Today, we've got a mind-blowing topic that's been raising eyebrows across the globe. Strap in as we delve into the intriguing possibility of Africa splitting into two. Yes? You heard it right? Before we dive deep into the details, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out. On our wild explorations, let's jump into it. The phenomenon unveiled. In 2005, images and reports emerged revealing a continental rift in East Africa. But what exactly is a continental rift? It's when a continent appears to be breaking apart, a phenomenon crucial in the planet's ever-changing landscape. Remember, this isn't a unique event. Every continent we stand on today is a result of past rifts and tectonic plate movements. The dance of tectonic plates. To grasp what's happening in Africa, let's explore the intricate dance of tectonic plates. The Earth's outer crust is a mosaic of about 15 to 20 plates, constantly moving either towards or away from each other. The Somalian plate in East Africa is making a bold move, shifting East War away from the larger Nubian plate, creating what we know as the East African Rift. The East African Rift unveiled. The East African Rift is a colossal network of valleys stretching over 2,000 miles from the Red Sea to Mozambique. This geological marvel forms a Y-shaped rift system in Ethiopia's Afar region. If the Somalian plate completes its detachment from the Nubian plate, it could lead to the splitting of Africa into two separate continents. The waiting game. Hold on to your hats, folks. While the prospect of Africa splitting into two sounds like a sci-fi blockbuster, the reality is a bit more patient. Geologists estimate that a clean separation could take a whopping five to 10 million years. So, this won't be a quick spectacle, but it's undoubtedly a geological drama unfolding. Alternate scenarios, but wait, there's more to this geological saga. It's not just a binary outcome. One possibility is a partial separation forming a new sea between the emerging land masses, countries like Somalia, Eritrea, Djibouti, and parts of Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania, and Mozambique, might witness the birth of this new aquatic neighbor. Economic opportunities. Now, let's talk real world impact. The countries benefiting from this geological ballet are the landlocked ones like Ethiopia and Uganda. The emergence of a coastline from a new ocean could revolutionise their economies, opening up opportunities for trade and production. A game changer for regions thirsty for economic growth. The slow but sure rift. While the rift is obvious, it's not racing ahead at breakneck speed. Current growth is at a leisurely pace, about a quarter of an inch per year. According to experts like Ken McDonald, the rifting is as slow as the rate at which your toenails grow. So, no need to fret about an imminent split. Nature's taking its sweet time with this one. Rift formation mysteries. Why is this rift happening? The scientific community is still debating, but a leading model suggests increased heat flow from deep inside the Earth. This leads to thermal bulges, noticeable in central Kenya and north central Ethiopia. These bulges fracture the outer brittle crust, creating normal faults, a crucial step in the rift formation process. The roll-off mantle plumes. Mantle plumes, hot magma areas beneath the Earth's crust, play a starring role in this geological spectacle. The extra hot magma causes the overlying crust to melt and thin, resulting in the expansion and fracture of thermal bulges. This process can also trigger widespread volcanic activity, creating a dynamic landscape. Rift valleys revealed. One striking feature in continental rifts is the formation of rift valleys. These lowland regions are born when tectonic plates move apart, setting the stage for new oceans. 
Rift valleys, distinct from river and glacial valleys, are a result of tectonic plate movements rather than erosion. Examples beyond Africa. Let's zoom out for a moment and explore rift valleys beyond Africa. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge is a prime example where the North American and Eurasian plates are gradually splitting apart. This process has formed rift valleys as wide as nine miles, showcasing the global significance of tectonic movements. Great Rift Valley and its features. Now, turning our attention back to Africa, the Great Rift Valley steals the spotlight. Stretching from the Middle East to Mozambique, it's a geological hotspot teeming with volcanoes, hot springs, geysers and frequent earthquakes. The Western Rift, with its deep basins and lakes, contrasts with the greater volcanic activity observed in the Gregory Rift. A far triple junction. An essential player in the East African Rift drama is the Afar Triple Junction. This is where the Horn of Africa straddles the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden. At this junction, the Arabian, Nubian and Somali plates are all moving away from each other. The widening arms of this triple junction are a vital part of the rift's progression. Rift lakes and biodiversity. As the rift continues its journey, it leaves behind a trail of rift valley lakes. These lakes, like Tanganyika and Natron, boast incredible biodiversity. From endemic fish species to unique ecosystems, they're not just geological wonders, but also vital hubs of life in the region. As we wrap up this beyond crazy exploration, one thing is clear. Africa's continental rift is a dynamic, slow-burning phenomenon with profound implications. From geological wonders to potential economic booms, the East African Rift is a testament to the ever-evolving nature of our planet. Stay tuned for more mind-blowing content and until next time, keep questioning the world around you. Beyond Crazy, signing off.